appreciate that. And now, Simon, it's your turn to share what you would have on your heart. So we'd like to have you come. Well, good evening. Thank you all for coming here. I've had a lot of fun. I got to choose all the songs. I got a personal message. Uh, not a hard part, I have to speak. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I did uh, Becca Academy for school. And uh, it's essentially homeschool. And I technically uh, graduated at Pensacola a week and a half ago. I got to walk uh, the stage with 300 other graduates and meet my video teachers and all that other amazing stuff. So. All right, now for the speech. Half a score and two years ago, <laughs> I started first grade. And ever since then, I've been counting down to the day I graduated. Well, that was today. Well, now I'm here, and my feelings are a lot different than what I expected them to be, uh, mainly because back then I expected, oh, well, I'll be graduated, I'll have nothing to do. <laughs> Not so. Even up to the last few weeks of school, I thought I'd have hours and hours of free time to read and sit around after I graduated. That didn't happen either. But I'm thankful for that, uh, because as I've said before, busy is better than bored. Uh, I also thought that I would have a huge sense of relief when I finished school. But that too didn't come to pass, because after school is life. And uh, that's what graduation is. It's a commencement uh, of life after school. Not without its challenges, but also not without its benefits. In fact, the car I just bought doubles as a pantry for my candy stash. Um, <laughs> there are several people I'd like to thank for their part in where I am today. Uh, first would be my parents uh, for their choice to homeschool me. Uh, contrary to the typical homeschool stereotype, I'm not shy and unsociable recluse, uh, nor am I socially handicapped and friendless. Uh, that's because my parents uh, made sure that uh, I, w I was able to meet people. We went on trips all the time. Uh, I have plenty of siblings, so that took care of the social part. Uh, I'm thankful to my mom. Uh, we spent hours each night grading, and sometimes crying over my schoolwork and papers. I'm also thankful for her listening to my constant uh, plea to let me show you why I should get those, uh, the points for that problem, even though I didn't get it right. Uh, I'm thankful to my dad for his uh, supervision of my PE and for his semi-helpful suggestions for science projects and research reports. Uh, also for his explanations to my younger siblings of why I should be able to stay up later than them. Uh, I'm also thankful to the rest of my family uh, and for their bravery and trying the creations for my cooking class. Uh, also for their help in developing my concentration skills, mainly when I was in my room trying to do homework. Also a big thank you to my uh, lawn mowing and piano clients. Uh, many of you are here, also our neighbors. Uh, not only did I learn hard work, customer relations, and mobile repair, but I was also able to buy my first car with the money that I earned from you guys from mowing your lawns and teaching your kids piano and all that other stuff. So thank you very much for coming and for being a part of my life. Now I'd like to describe for you a typical day in my homeschool career. Uh, many people ask, you know, what's it like to homeschool? So I'm gonna tell you, uh, not super strict, but a schedule of what I would generally do in the day. I would try to wake up at 6. Now, if I didn't wake up at 6, I'd just wake up at 8 and I'd start school then. But if I woke up at 6, then I'd try to uh, do uh, one or two subjects of uh, Bible or history, and those are generally a 35 or a 45 minute uh, video that I'd watch, and then sometimes there'd be homework afterwards. I had a homework at home school, it's terrible. <laughs> anyway, after that, we'd have breakfast. Uh, I would get ready for the day, and then I would do more school. Sometimes, uh, well, after I did school, we'd have lunch, uh, and then I'd do homework right after lunch, and generally I had the rest of the afternoon to go to lawns, teach piano, play piano, do all that other fun stuff. Uh, then after dinner, I would sometimes do a subject or two extra for the next day. Some weekends I did an entire week's worth of Bible ahead. Uh, that gave me extra time to do extra school. <laughs> so that was the a general outline of what I do during the day. Overall, uh, school was a great experience for me. I enjoyed it mostly, uh, and uh, you know sometimes I'd be done by eleven or eleven thirty in the morning if I did a bunch of extra school, giving me time to do instrument practice, lawn jobs, and other things. Probably the biggest benefit uh, to the way my parents chose to do homes homeschooling uh, was the ability to schedule my school around everything else. 
And I know that it's a big privilege for me and not many people get it, but I'm glad that I got it. Uh, many people have asked what I plan on doing in the future. Uh, I ask that too. Uh, my original desire after leaving high school is to go to a trade school uh, to become an electrician. Uh, but since I can't do that till I'm 18, which is next year, I will uh, spend my time uh, trying out other fields, uh, such as teaching or dirt moving and other stuff, uh, to find out my interests and ability, abilities, and also to try to find God's plan for my life, because that's number one. Uh, now I'd like to address a few groups of people before I run out of time here. Uh, to those kids who are excited for my graduation because of the cake afterwards, <laughs> enjoy school while you have it. Uh, later, when you're, done, when you're done with school, you'll have a lot of other stuff to do, so don't think that you'll be completely done with life after that. Uh, to those who are approaching high school and beyond, uh, my peers and age, uh, make sure that you're right in your relationship with the Lord, uh, because it makes the decision-making process a lot easier. And to those who are parents of the aforementioned kids and teens, don't despair of rest, and don't take the time with your kids for granted. Uh, because, I mean, I'm not a parent yet, but I feel like it was just yesterday I started second grade. And ever since first grade, like I said, ever since first grade, I've been counting down until graduation. Sixth grade, I'm halfway there. Ninth grade, three quarters of the way there. Eighth grade, 66% there. And I, I would count the percent. Anyway, so in, enjoy the time with school while you have it. I'd like to end with a verse that I found to be very applicable to me. And I hope then that you can apply it to yourself, too. And that's uh, Psalms 37, 5, which says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So no matter what direction the Lord leads me, whether it's to be become an electrician, a teacher, plumber, pastor, or ditch digger, I have committed and will trust in him. And now I have a special that I like to sing if Amy will come up.
Thank you, Simon. I appreciate the, uh, the admonition and the testimony. And that is always a highlight of uh, occasions like this. As well as is the preaching of God's Word. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to our pulpit tonight, um, Pastor Andrew Geist, who's pastor of Beacon Baptist Church in Yeek Harbor. And uh, obviously not a stranger around here, but uh, just a joy to have him and his family with us. So, Brother Geist, if you would come at this time and bring a message from God's Word. Thank you very much. 